So about the CRE exam, um, I had um, this one, this primer from it, it's from uh, QCI, Quality Council of Indiana, and this is so far the best uh, resource that you can have for exam. Uh, it, it's very exhaustive and uh, it, it, it's like it, it, it covers all of the BOK and it also has these uh, questions. Uh, for example, these are the these are the questions uh, it has. Like there are like maybe three times as many questions in this one, and like the the good thing about these is that they are very theoretical. And uh, I saw a few of the questions from from, from from this from these questions, or they were maybe too similar to to think of. You know, like they were not exactly. Uh, the questions that uh, I saw here, but they were like these questions, and uh, maybe the verbiage was too close, or or something. But uh, but I trust this one. Um, one bad thing that happened to me was there were two questions. Although body of knowledge does not uh, ask specifically about the hypothesis testing, maybe they do. Just let me check it one second. Yeah, they don't ask you for hypothesis testing in a direct fashion, but in the design of experiment, uh, like, section, uh, they say that develop and interpret the results of a standard design of experiment, full factorial and then fractional factorial. So there were two questions that they are, they gave me the, the, the results of the table of the DOE, and uh, then they ask you to interpret for it. Like, uh, what's the effect of A, B plus combination or A and B or whatever, right? So the thing is that even though this was a very great resource, it could not have helped me on the, these two questions because they were 100% uh, dependent upon my understanding of the, the full factorial uh, and uh, the combinations. And one uh, bad thing that happened to me was that they asked me about the 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 the, the t test values like what the, this is the average and this is this thing what is the t value for it and and that's not in this book um, even though it is in the elementary or sorry this book the applied statistics um, this is very like elementary book for statistics it has all the tests in it and even the chi square so there was one question about the chi square uh, but it was not about to calculate it but to interpret the results and i i, I just ended up guessing it uh, and the t test value uh, even though i have studied it but it, but i could not remember the formula for it so that was bad luck on my end um, and that was the moment that i thought oh, one resource is not too much uh, not enough really, sorry. But two resources are way too much. You're gonna end up losing too much time uh, sifting through results if you don't tag uh, or you don't know look, where to look for, sorry. So I tagged all of the book and, uh, and there were these tags like uh, uh, the chapters so for example on below the chapter and uh, all the charts so i have charts on the top um, the the topics on the side and the the, the chapters or uh, the the body of knowledge main uh, section on the bottom so i know like where to go for and what to look for in in, in just a, in just a split second so that's how you're going to you should do on the exam day like you read through something you just tag it and then you know where to look for if there is something asking about it otherwise you're gonna end up losing so much time that you it, it will not be fairly you know it will not you will not have too much time in the end so i thought i will have too much time to resolve and reread and uh, try the same question multiple times but that then i lost like maybe 30 minutes uh, and I, I thought that that was really a waste and redoing is one of the seven biggest wastes that I thought I, I could I, I could end up uh, having much time 
uh, despite rereading it or redoing the work. Uh, but that was a bad strategy for me on the test day, and it did not turn up very well. Nevertheless, we were talking about the resources. So there is one resource, the CARE primer, and uh, then there is this one, uh, the applied statistics and probability. Uh, but that's not enough really. So there are other two books that I ordered but they came up later. I So I had to read through them uh, like in, in, in on online or uh, and but they really burnt my eyes. But other than that I will I have multiple books that I'm gonna share you uh, with you. I'm gonna tell you like what to look for and uh, uh, this one for example is a very good book but it, it's, it's fairly small and uh, this one is a very good book like if you are from mechanical science and uh, you wanna you wanna re really just not only attempt the exam but also learn it, it it's a fairly good book uh, the REC manual called practical statistical tools for the reliability engineer is a very good book and you must have it other than that, there is Practical Engineering Process and Reliability Statistics from ASQ Quality Press. And uh, by far, the my uh, so far my most favorite book is Reliability Engineering and Risk Analysis, a practical guide from Mohammed Badaris and uh, Chris Kristof Vasili. Uh, so th this is. The, so far a very difficult and uh, very interesting book yeah. so if I could have buy buy the hard uh, like the hard copy of it I would I would must I will must have it but I but I ended up with uh, having just the ebook so I burned my eyes reading through it but it was really worth it so that's it for uh, the preparation stuff. Uh, like whatever resource you're gonna pick, just pick very carefully and there will be too much reading that, that is needed and uh, there are just two things pick, always pick two always pick two resources that you're gonna take to the exam and uh, they, they should not be you know like uh, all inclusive or uh, some things that they, they, they share everything but uh, th there should be like two different uh, things for example uh, if I would uh, bring the new one uh, so if, if I would sit in the exam today I would bring just the, this the, the, the applied statistics books and uh, the ASQ quality man uh, CRE sorry ASQ CRE handbook so the ASQ CRE handbook that's a must to have you must have it and this rock manual you must have it so uh, just print it buy it whatever it, it's not available on, uh, you know, on in, in the hard copy but you can find somewhere maybe on ebook and then print it so it's a, it's a must to have uh, so you must you you're not required to remember the formulas but to use it you must know how to use them and uh, yeah I, I think I would not have needed uh, this book on exam even though I did not bring it but I would I would have not needed any formula book if I just had brought the rock menu and uh, that was a bad thing on my end I did not calculate it fairly well uh, but you should do it so like think which or which topics are mutually inclusive on the two resources that you're gonna bring and which are you know like not shared in both so uh, what I would think about is that I would bring one book that is highly theoretical and one book that is highly mathematical but they both belong to the, the B or Q you know, like it's, it's not like it's not gonna give you any benefit if it is from everywhere else uh, and, uh, and and not uh, from B or Q B or K sorry so guys uh, the body of knowledge is one big hell of a chunk. Uh, it's it's very diverse, and uh, and each topic can become a book in itself. So you should be really thorough about it. Uh, studying really thorough is uh, the the only requirement that you sh you should fulfill. So the study time that you should do is that at least hundred and twenty or two hundred and sixty hours. That is by far the minimum required. 
But if you want to have high probability of uh, success or passing it, then I would recommend that you should have uh, like at least 200 hours to prepare for it. it it's going to be a difficult exam, so you should prepare for all of the topics. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.